Hi, IASvideos.com is presenting you simplified daily current affairs analysis. Nuclearization of the Brahmos supersonic cruise missile. New Delhi has to consider its deterrence requirements and perceptions in Beijing and Islamabad. What is the necessity for India to nuclearize the Brahmos? How much equipped is India to counter nuclear capabilities of China? What could be the implications of the cruise missile nuclearization for Pakistan? What are the potential hurdles for India to nuclearize the cruise missile? GS Paper 3 Indigenization of Technology In this video, you can find detailed answers for all the above questions. The above article has been retrieved from thediplomat.com, dated July 14, 2018. What we are providing here is just a 10% sample out of the full-length video. Visit our website iasvideos.com to join the course and to unlock all videos. We offer this pendrive course cash on delivery on amazon.in too. Amazon will deliver our course to your doorstep. What is the context about? Since the early 2000s, the Brahmos missile system has made India's military arsenal a formidable one, a product of a joint Indo-Russian initiative. The weapon allows India to deliver a payload from 300 to 400 kilometers away. Its current inventory includes land, air, ship and submarine launched variants of Brahmos. What is the necessity for India to nuclearize the Brahmos? Chinese nuclear doctrine espouses a no first use pledge but it has invested in ballistic missile defense technologies and a sea-based anti-missile system. Given the nuclear capabilities of China, along with the technological feasibility of delivering a nuclear warhead with the weapon system, it is likely that India will add a nuclear capability to Brahmos to fulfill its deterrence requirements against China. In turn, Pakistan may perceive this development as an Indian attempt to pursue a counterforce strategy, which could then motivate Pakistan to move towards a state of ready deterrence. How much equipped is India to counter nuclear capabilities of China? To counter China, India has two options. First, it could develop multi-independently targeted recentry vehicle capability that can overwhelm the missile shield. However, this may be a less appealing course of action. Given India's limited fissile material stock and the threat of the interception of warheads before the terminal phase. Thus, it seems likely that India will develop a nuclear-tipped Brahmos missile capable of penetrating Chinese missile shields, thus fulfilling India's deterrence requirements. What could be the implications of the cruise missile nuclearization for Pakistan? In the triangular nuclear dynamics of South Asia, the nuclearization of the cruise missile will also impact Pakistan, which maintains an ambiguous doctrine with no commitment to NFU and fields tactical nuclear weapons. Pakistan could perceive this development as a threat to its nuclear arsenal potentially move towards a state of ready deterrence in which it mates its warheads with delivery vehicles. What are the potential hurdles for India to nuclearize the cruise missile? Two issues still require India's attention as it contemplates moving towards a nuclear Brahmos. First, Brahmos being a collaborative project necessitates Russian consent since Russia still supplies the propulsion systems of Brahmos, their consent is necessary if India is to nuclearize Brahmos. Second, if India aims to outfit 40 Su-30 MKI platforms with the aerial version of the Brahmos, in a crisis situation, it would be difficult to know if the incoming Su-30 MKI carries a nuclear-tipped Brahmos or a conventional missile. This may present the adversary with the use it or lose it dilemma, which could lead to inadvertent escalation.